Hey, what's going on everyone? Vega here for Serpent X Tech, and it's time for us to go over how to mine Wag Layla, a new proof of work token that came out not too long ago. And previously we talked about how to set up your CLI uh, node as well as get your wallet created. Now we need to go over how to mine it on Windows, how to get your flight sheet or how to mine it on Hivon, and as well talk about the two miners that are currently available with more to come in the future. A quick disclaimer though, um, while I am not the lead dev or any of the leaders of this project, in the Discord you will find my name under the Waglayla team. Uh, I've just been providing consulting basically, advising, and trying to help the team as best I can with this particular project because I was interested by it. But let's get into how to mine it. First off, if you go to the waglayla.com website, again, you will see the links to their WAG paper or white paper the CLI node and wallet setup, which you could check out my previous video, link is in the description on how to do that. But you're gonna wanna get all of that working. So your node up and running and your wallet address that you need. But then you're gonna need the Stratum Bridge. To do that, we can go to the website itself or check out the link in the description, go to the GitHub, and right there on the GitHub is the Stratum Bridge. I already have it downloaded but we'll show you how to set that up as well as create uh, set up the node and everything. So you got two miners right now. There's uh, this one right here, which I did check out and, and did a quick review of it. It's basically gonna produce some false positives. Uh, it does try to stop like basically reverse engineering. So somebody can't just copy and, and try to manipulate their miner. Uh, just leave the dev alone, let them do their thing. But they've been constantly pushing out updates since the launch of this uh, project. And then SRB Miner. We're going to be using SRB Miner, but I just want to make sure that, that you know there's two options. You can always jump into the community Discord to learn more and so on and so forth. So we got both of these downloaded, but we do need to get our node and everything up and running. So I still have my test here. We're going to go into this folder. And just like I showed you previously, we're going to right click, open in terminal or navigate to this folder and open it up in WSL. So that way we can use the Linux subset uh, language, right? We want to use that command to make sure life a lot easier compared to Windows. And then we need to get the node up and running. What do we need to do that? Well, if we go back to the website and click on set up node and CLI, we can go back to the commands that we need. Now, I'm starting to learn these commands by heart, but not everybody might. So first things first, we want to uh, cargo run release. And I'm going to put it on this one right here, the second one down, because I'm going to be mining on the same machine my node is running on. And we need to be able to listen. So we're going to go ahead and put that command in. And now the node's going to spin up, give it some time to do its thing. We don't need to go back into our wallet, but we do need our wallet address. And again, you could see that in a previous video. But let this node spin up. And now we need to grab the bridge, which I already have. So let's go back to our downloads and extract that bridge we're going to go into cmd waglayla bridge and then config right here so let's go ahead and open that up and you're going to see oh it's opening up the release notes in my visual studio but here it is so stratum port 5555 we're going to need that i'm going to leave this as localhost 12 uh, uh 110 and then minimum share difficulty i'm not playing around with that but i've seen some people putting four or whatever on it Everything else, it's the latest. I would just leave it the way it is, right? Shares per minute, leave everything alone. If you want to play around with it and you have that knowledge to do so, you can, again, check out the Discord if you need to. But the config by default is set up pretty good, so you don't really need to do too much in there. But we do need to get this bridge up and running after our node is synced, which we're still waiting on. So make sure your node is completely synced up first, and then we can open up the bridge. Our node is syncing. I'm getting a wallet going just in case some of y'all forgot how to get here. Again, the main repo, right, is Wag Layla Rusty Master. To ignore the test, I put that in for my last video. When we go in here and go to the folder called CLI, we can open this folder in terminal, go to it. And again, I'm switching to WSL, but if you want to use the Windows commands, go for it. Go into it, and I'm running the cargo uh, run release to get this guy going, which will give us access to our wallet and be able to get the wallet address. Since the node's already up and running and syncing, we can go back to our bridge. And because we're in Windows, we can just go to CMD and I believe we could just double click it. It's gonna warn us about it. So more info, run anyway. And there is our bridge. So our bridge is checking that we're synced. 
It's connecting via local host, which is how we have it set up in the config. And so now it's just waiting for miners to come online. So the bridge is up and running. Uh, right now, at time of filming, I believe the bridge is still being tweaked and fine-tuned. Originally at launch, you could see stats and blocks, but now we can only see blocks hit. We can't see like the hash rate. So be patient. The team's still making changes, still tweaking, still modifying, uh, but they're getting stuff done. So now the bridge is up and running. The node is up and running. Uh, we want to check our wallet. Uh, it's still going through its process. If you already have your wallet address, you can skip this part and go straight to the miners. The beautiful thing is SRB miner and even the one from, I believe I can say their name. I'm not entirely sure, but I'm just going to call them Perry. Um, they're in the Discord, but they go under Racer Community. Has a new version as well. We got both of them, so let's extract those to our folder or whichever folder we prefer extracting srb miner you might get a antivirus warning which we just did and then you need to allow i always test new miners new nodes new wallets on a dedicated isolated system and with everything up and running i connected our wallet we verified what the wallet address is uh make sure you copy that and we can go to srb miner and that's the only one I'm going to focus on. If you want to check out the other wall, uh, the other miner, you feel free to do so. They got some really good guides, including how to get it configured on Hivon. I'll have it linked down in the description. But focusing on SRB miner, uh, what we have here is uh, it, it's already in there. So if you go down to the bottom, it's going to have start wag Layla right here, and you're going to right click edit in Notepad, and then you need to put in your wallet address. Uh, you're going to need to put in the IP address of the machine that the bridge is on. Matter of fact, let me pull up the main machine that has the bridge. This was all for demonstration purposes. Uh, but again, we got the node up and running, syncing. We got the bridge connected and we know our wallet address. That's the main thing. Now we can go in the SRB miner and plug in the information. To get an IP address for a machine, you could just go to CMD, Type in IP config in your command prompt. Let me show you that real quick. That's what it looks like. IP config, hit enter. And then your IP address should look something uh, like that, right? So so 172.25.16.1, excuse me there. Something similar to that. Uh, whatever the IP address is for the machine that not only is the node, but also has the bridge, that's what we need in this case. I already know what it is, so I'm going to go ahead and plug it in. And we're going to change our port number to 5555. Don't leave it the 4444 here, so 5555. Because uh, we're just connecting locally. We don't need anything crazy. If you do want to get advanced with SRB Miner, uh, you can always Google SRB Miner commands for locking clocks, mem, whatever you might be uh, need. And then we should be good to go. So we're going to file save if you have this batch file or... or um, minor config the way you want file save as and then under save as type change that to all files give it a unique name whatever name you want um so let's say uh wag uh layla local tests dot and we want to change this to all files bat for batch file we want to save it as a batch file not a txt file and then you should see that in your folder there it is uh, so that's the one we're going to use and we want to watch it at the bridge. So let me pull that up. All right, here we are on my, uh, FPJ rig actually, and using Ubuntu cause I love it. We have our node in the upper right syncing away. We actually have a CPU miner, the one from racer community, um, CPU miner. Uh, it's only getting one point like three mega hash dual core seller on nothing crazy. So I wouldn't, wouldn't go CPU mining uh, all the way around, but I wanted to still test it. And then we have the bridge and you can see my different rigs on it and everything like that. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, spin up the SRB one, but I do want to add one more thing here. I forgot my worker name. What is the command for worker name and SRB miner? We can control F worker. So dash dash worker is what we're gonna add to the end here of this batch file. Uh, right above the pause, and let's say test W A L A, and then save. And so now, if we run this, we should see locally on, or on the on the uh, bridge itself, it connects. So let's see if we get it to connect here. So look in the bottom left. There it is connected. It just showed it for a split second. Let me go up for you. So you see 
worker test uh, Wayla and the client and the IP it's connecting from. So now we are mining through our bridge, uh, which is what we want to see. Let's go back to SRB. This is what it looks like. Every once in a while, you're going to get actual stats. Right now, it's GPU tuning, uh, you know, accepting jobs and stuff like that. But you'll get the normal stats that you're used to with the hash rate, so on and so forth. Uh, but we are connected and mining on our window system. Now switching over to the hive on type situation. This is my flight sheet. Go ahead and pause the screen and take pictures. But basically the coin is there now uh, when it was at the very, very beginning. But you're going to choose coin. Look for W-A-L-A. -A, then wallet. You're going to add wallet. Put in your address, right? We have that copied from our previous window. So we could put that in there. Give it a name and then create. And then configure pool in minor. So configure minor. And then choose SRB minor. And SRB minor does have the latest version on here. 2.6.9. Um, I updated 2.6.6 manually. You don't need to do that anymore. Just 2.6.9. Uh, and then it's going to have the algorithm. Wayla hash. The wallet. Just click the I. If this is blank. All you got to do is click the I. Or mouse over it. And click the first uh, variable it gives you. And then same thing for the worker name. If this is blank, mouse over the I, click on the worker name variable, and it will populate that. And then put in the IP, the local IP of the machine that's housing your node, plus uh, colon 5555 for the port number, password X, and any extra configuration arguments that you want to have. You don't need to, uh, but if you wanted to, you could. Otherwise, you know, like lock clocks, whatever you might want, apply changes, update, save, and then plug that flight sheet in. Right now we can see that this mix rig, the 3080 is getting around 1.025 giga hash at 124-ish watts, 3060 Ti, 572, 1080 Ti, 630 at 113. 3070s are in the six to nine hundred uh six to seven hundreds almost for only 88 watts. AMD I heard was very, very efficient, but again, my AMD rig is down due to the lightning strike. I got another 3060 Ti that's running at 63 watts but getting a uh, relative hash rate about the same as the others. Uh, the only 3060 that isn't is my other rig. So pause the screen, take a look. Here are my clocks uh, if you want to check them out. So lock in the core at 1470, core offset between 150 and 200 if your GPUs can do it. 810 on the memory is very core intensive. And then on my other mix rig where I have A2000, even uh, 1660 supers and TIs, basically the same thing. So locking the core at 1470 offset uh, 150 memory as low as possible 810 and then power limits but you don't need to set power limits if you're locking core clocks pause the screen those are all my clocks i already shared it within the community or discord for wag layla but check it out you're mining through your own node uh you're submitting shares and everything and again see how you can't see the hash rate right now you can only see the blocks you hit there you go so the network hash rates at two tera hash right now at time of filming but it may grow as videos come out um and again i am not the leader of this project i am not the lead dev uh but i am assisting to a certain capacity just doing my best to just be as i always am you guys know me a community member uh a friend a colleague somebody who tries to do what's right for the community as always and it's just fun to always learn a new project and play around a new algorithm and stuff like that the algorithm's called Wayla hash but we'll do uh, maybe a little bit more of a deeper uh, look into the project in a different video. But that's going to do it for today. So do me a favor on the way out. Hit the like button. Get subscribed. Hit the notification bell to stay up to date. So let's check out additional links in the description to help support the channel and what we do here. And you just have yourself a wonderful day. Take care. I'll catch you in the next one.